I don't even know what I want to talk about. I just know I had to turn the camera on. I've been wanting to do it for so long. It's kind of like the only thing that makes me feel like shit. Like, I'm on top of everything in life right now. I literally could not complain at all. I quit smoking. I'm a great fucking dad. I have a good job. I have a lot of people that love me. I have enough time to do things for myself. I take better care of my body. I could eat way better. But it's amazing that I have this physique and I can eat whatever I want. Whatever I want. I will eat gallons of ice cream back to back, day to day. When, when working, I notice that I have negative mental cycles. I found it's important to integrate into my psyche that whenever I'm going through something negative to, to understand it, it's made it easier for me to quit having negative cycles. In, in other words, I formed a relationship with my psyche, with my negative issues, so that it's easier for me to ascertain when something bad is happening. That is purely on my side of things in life because bad things do happen to you but how many bad things do you bring upon yourself through your psyche is always a question that I have knowing that 99% of my issues are my own fault and I've noticed it popping up is something that that it should be it should be dealt with like it, it should have been dealt with and that's where I run into this issue. Because <laughs> I think quitting smoking was easier than this. And I've wanted to quit smoking for, for years. At least two years. Probably like four. It's, it's forgiveness. You have to forgive people that fucked you. Every day. <laughs> and I know, I know it will go away. But you have to do it every day. Every day. And there's a lot of people that fuck me in life. But it's the point where their names, like when I say that, I, I can't even bring it to my head. I'd have to think about it for a while. That's how you know you've done a good job forgiving someone. But then there's other people where you have to forgive them again every time you wake up just to have a good day. It's a skill. I don't think people are built, I don't think anyone's built to forgive or say I'm sorry. That's a big one too. I know I want to do this YouTube thing and I know I can. Before I privated most of my videos, this channel had 200,000 views. I'm, I'm kind of proud of that, to be honest with you. Getting, I think... I think even getting 500 subscribers on YouTube is just a person who's not even out there advertising is fucking crazy. But I haven't been making content like that for like two years. And I I know what I want to do. I want to do like IRL video essay co like content. Um, and maybe I want to play video games every so often. Like I know I could do it. I totally can. 
communication is is not an issue for me most of the time <laughs> um but i had bought this camera and i've been playing with it a lot since i got it but but that's all i've been doing is playing with it it's been hard to to work into my my schedule it's because of how comfortable i am with my schedule it becomes so hard to change things around and and i fill out my my entire weekly schedule to the brim i don't go to sleep till like 6 a.m sometimes and it uh, it makes it hard to to care for my son honestly because i have to flip my sleep schedule uh just to be able to take it and i still want to fit more stuff into the schedule like the, the amount of days, <laughs> to weeks, months it took to coax me into pointing a camera at myself and talking is ridiculous. It's crazy because I know where this goes. Like, I just, and I still need to do this multiple times a week at least I need to put it in the schedule to do and then I need to put in editing time and I can half as it for sure I can just clip up what I say and just throw it up like that's not it's not really an issue right now I mean in the future to improve that would be great but I also take my time and a lot of stuff kind of cool that I'm doing it now Certainly helps me feel good about myself. Actually pursuing things that I wanted. Because I pursued things that I didn't want to do for a long time. So long. I've been so many places where I didn't want to be, where they didn't want me. So finally doing something I want to do now is pretty cool. I know that you've probably noticed by now it's nighttime. Because... Obviously, this is a thing that keeps me up at night. Yeah. I don't really consider much of it bad. But it's all fantastically interesting. I gotta delete this social media stuff, man. Well, I already did. I deleted all my social media stuff. And I quit smoking. And I feel like I'm slowly coming back into touch with reality slowly if you watch most of my videos then you know I was never really in touch with reality to begin with obviously obviously <laughs> I don't think anyone is holy shit the whole thing is a little complicated so that's fine we stay comfortable just doing whatever don't know what the fuck is going on. Not here. But. I mean you're watching this. And I'm making it. We're comfortable. Things are cool. But damn. <laughs> now I'm going to go make myself something to eat. Because I just fucking got off work. And it's nighttime. I got showered, do it all again. <laughs>